to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Meet Bay News Brief. ITEL BPO Smart Solutions and Investing Lucia, ISL, signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Wednesday, 29 January 2020 to begin operations in St. Lucia, making the island the fifth territory for the company. ISL is currently retrofitting a 20,000 square foot factory shell in the Uranora Free Zone in preparation for ITEL BPO's opening in April 2020. Minister for Commerce, Industry Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs, Honorable Bradley Felix, noting that ISL has brought on board an investment partner that appears to want to invest in the wider community as a responsible corporate citizen, said that this will be very beneficial to the country and employees of ITEL BPO. Chief Executive Officer of Invest St. Lucia, Roderick Sherry, explained that the BPO facility will house initially 150 employees in the global services sector with an aggressive growth plan to be undertaken by ITEL BPO. Following several engagements with residents of Viewfort, he said that the skill sets of the individuals there met the requirements of the company. ITEL BPO intends to hire some 200 people within the first six months. St. Lucia is inching closer to producing its own domestic violence bill. Recent consultations facilitated by Sisters for Change brought together a technical team, including magistrates, lawyers and the police, to discuss the current draft bill with a view to producing the most effective bill possible. Sisters for Change is an international non-profit organization working to combat discrimination and violence against women and girls. The organization is part of the Equality and Justice Alliance, who is currently working on a pan-commonwealth program to reform laws that discriminate against women, girls and the LGBT community. As part of that program, the organization has been working with the Department of Gender Relations within the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development on technical assistance measures including the Domestic Violence Bill. Sisters for Change has been conducting consultations on the existing draft Domestic Violence Bill of 2016 and allowing stakeholders and civil society to give their thoughts on the bill. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank ECCB, in collaboration with the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States OECS, Commission and the World Bank, will be hosting the fourth Growth and Resilience Dialogue with social partners on February 13, 2020 at the ECCB headquarters in St. Kitts and Nevis. The annual Growth and Resilience Dialogue is designed to address issues that affect the lives of those within the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union ECCU. The forum provides a unique opportunity for civil and social partners to interact with the ECCB Monetary Council on multiple matters including growth, competitiveness and employment. This year, the fourth Growth and Resilience Dialogue will be held under the theme Regional Transformation through Innovation and will focus on the renewable energy transformation, the digital economic transformation and the payment system transformation. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.